Let's go to page 101 and with let's start with number 118. Is if f of x over x minus 1 equal to 1 over x for x not equal to 0 and 1. And the reason for that is because if it's x equal to 0 or 1, it will make this undefined. Okay, and 0 is less than theta, less than pi over 2. Then you're looking for f of secant squared theta. Okay. So since you're looking for this, right, so what you want to do is you want to set uh, th this equal to that. Okay, and that, so you can substitute. So secant squared theta equal to x over x minus 1. So basically, what, since we're looking for this, right, so we try to equate the two so we can uh, solve. Okay, so, um, so to solve this, that's going to cross multiply. So you got x secant squared theta minus secant squared theta equal to x. So you can just cross multiply. And then, um, since you, so what you want to do, you want to solve for x. So go ahead and get our x together. So uh, group your variable. Okay, then you factor out the x. And then you divide. And since the secondary function is kind of hard to work with, so we're going to change everything into a primary function. So secant is 1 over cosine. And now you have a complex fraction. So with a complex fraction, you want to multiply by common denominator. So multiply by uh, cosine squared theta. Okay, multiply by cosine squared theta. So you got x equal to this cancel out, so you're going to get 1. And this cancel out, so you're going to get 1. This multiply will be minus cosine squared theta. And 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared, so x equal to 1 over sine squared theta. Okay. okay. Okay, so this to our equals now we can go and put this in here. Okay. So from here. So again, this this two are equivalent, okay? But we're looking for x so we can see what's on this side. Okay. okay, so we have f of secant squared theta. Okay, again, so these are two these two are equals. Again, we set it equal so we can substitute. And once we find x we can put in here. Okay, so equal to one over x. So be one over this, right? So again, equal to one over x. So that's one over x. So f of secant squared theta equal to sine squared theta, and that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, 119. Okay, if f of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 1, okay, for x is greater than or equal to negative 2, and g of x equal to x squared minus x for x is less than 5, what is the domain of so you're looking for domain of g of f of x. Okay, so so domain. Okay, so domain is your input. So domain of this function is this. So you're looking for what the so value of this. Okay, the, okay. So so it tells you that first that 
Okay, so g of x is equal to this, right? So, uh, first of all, you follow this, so g of x, so using this part over here, so g of f of x, so this applies to that again. So domain is your input, so you're looking for input, so that means this would be your, this, this, this your, uh, the restriction on your input, so this is restriction on that, and you also have restriction over here, okay? Um, so, so from here you can see that f of x has to be less than five, okay? So again, x over here is your, this is your input, okay? So that's your that's your restriction on input, and since we're looking for g of f of x, so that means this also is the restriction on this. So that means f of x has to be less than five, okay. And well, from here we, we we know this over here, we can substitute. So you got x squared plus x minus one is less than five. Okay, so we're gonna minus five on both sides. So we got x squared plus x is less than uh, minus six is less than zero. And you can do the factoring. So you got x plus 3, x minus 2. So this is your, your, your critical value would be negative 3 and 2. So if you were to sketch it out, so negative 3 and 2, okay? And it had to be less than 0, so you're looking for this section over here. So x had to be less than 2 and greater than negative 3 from this part over here, okay? But notice there's a restriction right over here, okay? So you have an x had to be greater or equal to negative 2. Okay? So that's, that's right over here, so negative 2. So it had to be greater, so you have to chop it off right over here. So when you combine this over here, okay, again this is end. So x had to be greater or equal to negative 2. So you're going to get negative 2 is less than or equal to x, right? So again, x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than 2. Okay? So combining the two, we get that. And so that would be the domain the value of f of x that you can put in here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, solve the, the functional equation f of x plus t minus f of x minus t equal to 4xt. Okay, so since this is a function of, um, th this is the uh, functional equation, so we can um, set the variable to different values and to, to solve this equation. So first, let's let, again, you have to choose the value wisely because if you choose bad values, it's not going to help you. So first we're going to let t equal to x, okay? And so when t equal to x, so this becomes f of 2x minus f of 0 equal to 4x squared, right? I can set t equal to x, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, that again, so because it's kind of messy, so we're going to do the substitution. We try to find a, a, a function, okay, function with a single variable. Okay, so we're going to let y equal to 2x. So, therefore, if you solve, so y over 2 equal to x, okay. So, we're going to substitute this into here. So, we got f of y, right? This is y minus f of 0 equal to. Um, so this, so x, so you're going to get 4 times x squared should be y over 2 squared. So f of y mi uh, minus f of 0 equal to y squared. Okay. Now, now f of 0 is a constant, right? Because f of 0 is when you set the variable equal to 0, so all you're going to have is a number. So this is a constant, okay? So we're going to just call that constant a or C, so that's going to call it A. Again, again, F of zero means all the variable will set equal to zero, so you end up with a constant number. 
So f of 0 is a constant. So we're going to set this equal to a. So, so, f, so f of y will equal to y squared um, plus a. Now, once we find the, the f of y, again, these are just dummy variable. So whatever, whatever variable of it will match. So therefore, you, to solve for f of x, you just f of x will equal to x squared plus a. Okay. So this, this is, again, it's a technique that, that you use. You can use substitution to find a single variable, use a dummy variable, and then after that, then you can use that to find the f of x. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 121. You have f of 1 minus x plus 1 minus x, f of x equal to 5. You're looking for f of 5. Okay, okay so since you're looking for f of 5, there's a f of x over here, so that's going to let x equal to 5. Again, this is a functional equation, so you can let x equal to any number. So you want to choose your number wisely that will help you to solve. Since you're talking with f of 5, so that's let x equal to 5. Okay, okay so you're going to get this become f of negative 4 plus negative 4 times f of 5 equal to 5. Okay, okay. But now we have a problem. Now we have f of negative 4. Okay. Um, so we need to figure out what this is. Um, so, so you got f of negative 4 will equal to, I'm going to move this over. So it becomes 4 f of 5 plus 5. Okay. Okay. Now, so we need to find what this is. So I'm um, so that's going to use this equation again, but this time let's let since we're looking for this, right? So that's going to let x equal to negative four. Okay. So put in here. So you're going to get so again. You this is your original equation. You just keep such substitute value into the equation okay, until you have enough information. Okay. Again, since we're looking for this. That, so we need to have x equal to negative 4 so we can evaluate. Okay, so when x equal to negative 4, put in here, you're going to get f of 5, okay, plus 5 times f of negative 4 equal to 5. Okay, and, and the reason we did it so that when we get over here, we can substitute into here, okay? Again, the reason we solve for f of negative 4, so that way when we... When we Evaluate at negative 4, we can substitute this into here. So f of 5 plus 5 times f of negative 4 is this over here. So be 4 f of 5 plus 5 equal to 5. Okay, so now it's just a matter of algebra. Okay, so we can just distribute out. Okay, so you got so minus 25 on both sides. So you got 21 f of 5 equal to negative 20. So divide by 21, divide by 21. So f of 5 equal to negative 20 over 21. Okay. So again, if you're not sure what to do, just substitute a bunch of values to find out the the parts and then you can solve algebraically. Okay. okay, on page 101, uh, number 122, it says consider a family of function f sub squared b of x Okay, so with this family of a function, you have f b of 0 equal to b, and you have f b of x equal to 2 to the a, f sub squared b 
of x minus a and you so you're looking for f subscript c of 2x in terms of this okay hmm. okay so um, first that's since there are a lot of a so let's go and find f b of a okay and the reason for that because you, you want that x equal to a because because of this okay so you, because you want to find the, the, the subscript zero so you can substitute here, okay so you can this is giving so you want to get this to that therefore you want that x equal to a okay so that x equal to a so that way, when you substitute into here, this will become D, so you have some value that you can use, okay? So you got FB of A will equal to 2 to the A, FB of 0, okay? And now we can substitute this into here. So FB of A equal to 2 to the A times B, okay? Okay. So once we have a single function, then we can, again, this up, you can use anything in here, right? So whatever this will match, right? So therefore, fb of x will equal to 2 to the x b, okay? And also, fb of 2x, so again, so whenever you see a, you're changing the 2x. So this will equal to 2 to the 2x b. Okay. Okay. And you also can do the do the same thing with um with with, with this over here. So now you can have a FC of two x will equal to so you using the same thing over here. So this is your like important equation over here. So whenever you see this you, this this will also give you um, two to the two x. Now notice the letters match, right? See the b match with b. So if this is a c, this would be a c. Okay. So again, this this is your this is your um, the, the kind of the base the the basic uh, uh, function. So the a match with the a, b match with b. So if you put x over here, you get x. B match with B. So if you have 2x over here, this would be 2x to match. So now you have a FC of 2x. So 2x will match with this, this will match with this. Okay? Okay, but we're not done yet. Okay? Because it asks you to express this in terms of f of b. Okay? Okay. So we need to figure out what x is equal to. Okay? So from, from this equation over here, Okay, again, we want to express this in terms of that, so we need to use this equation over here. Okay, so first, um, let's go and divide both sides by b. So f base uh, b of x divided by b equal to 2 to the x. Okay, so you can divide both, from this equation, we divide both sides by b. So, so we have expression with 2 to the x. Okay, but this one is 2 to the 2x. So first you need to do a little bit of rearranging. So this is equal to two to the x square c, right? Exponent of exponent you multiply, right? So this is this over here, okay? And now we can substitute two to the x equal to that. So we can substitute into here. So you got f of x base b over b square c okay and now we can simplify things a little bit so this will equal to uh, c over b square so c over b square times f base of b x uh, square okay and that's it
Okay, let's go to the next one. It says if f of x equal to log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x for negative 1 is less than x less than 1. Then you're looking for f of 3x plus x cubed over 1 plus 3x squared. Okay. So you're looking for this in terms of f of x. Okay, so this one is fairly straightforward, but it's kind of a little bit long and tedious. So you're looking for this, so you put right over here. So f of 3x plus x cubed over 1 plus 3x squared. Right. So you're looking for this. So again, use this function. So whenever you see x, it becomes this. So this becomes log of 1 plus, again, whenever you see the x, this has to match. So this has to match with us. So it would be 3x plus x cubed over 1 plus 3x squared over 1 minus 3x plus x cubed over 1 plus 3x squared. Okay, so now you have complex fraction. So to simplify complex fraction, you need to multiply everything by 1 plus 3x squared. Okay, so this times that will give you 1 plus 3x squared. This times this will cancel out, so you're going to get plus 3x plus x cubed. Okay, so this times this will give you 1 plus 3x squared. This times this will cancel out. So notice it's a minus, so it'd be minus 3x minus x cubed. Okay, okay next is that uh, you got to notice this is a cube. This is a perfect cube. Okay. So, so rearrange so rearrange this a little bit. So this is equal to log of 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. This one, the reason I don't put x cubed in the front because it's a minus, okay? So if you put it in front, it kind of mess everything up. So I'm going to just put it this put this in the back. So it'd be 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. Again, these are, these are the sum of the cube. This is, uh, and th this is the cube of sum and it's a cube of difference. So this is equal to 1 plus x cubed. This is equal to 1 minus x cubed. And so now you're going to take the cube out. So this is equal to log of 1 plus x over 1 minus x, 3. Okay. And then after that, you're going to move this out to the front. Okay. But why is this? If you look over here, that, that is what? That's your f of x, right? See? This over here. So this is equal to f of x. So therefore, f of 3x plus x cubed over 1 plus 3x squared, this will equal to 3 times f of x. Okay. 